In this video we're going to look at uh, another problem and solution examples and this time we're going to be doing something about maths. Write a program to print the factorial of 5 of the first 5 or 10 numbers. The factorial example is given below so if you don't know what factorial is when you say 5 factorial that means you want to get the result of 5 multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1, which is 120. 4 factorial will mean five multi uh, 4 multiplied by 3 by 2 by 1, so you get the idea 3 would be 3 by 2, but so you multiply by n by n minus 1 until you reach uh, 1. So uh, you go on uh, like that. So we want to print the first 5 or 10 factorials, and uh, I'll, I'll give you a clue here to use a nested for loop. So we use you you use one loop to do the calculation, and then you will use another loop to do the. Uh, for example, right here I've done uh, the first eight numbers, so I use the the first loop to calculate the factorial, and the next one to print uh, to uh, uh, tell how many. Uh, numbers I want to go up to. So right now I want to go up to 8. So from 1 to 8, this is the. Uh, it took me about, I would say, 45 minutes to write this um, algorithm. And this algorithm that I've written, even though it works fine, still gives me headache to explain because. I'm still confused about something, so I'm going to use the breakpoint to actually see what is going on, and I'm going to show you a video about because if I explain it to you now, I am going to confuse you a lot. So I'm going to confuse you a lot. If I change this to 10, just to show you that this thing actually works, so that you don't think I just dump some stuff onto the screen. That's the uh, factory of 1 to 10. You can I can bet you that you should go on Google and type uh, Objective C factorial and see if you can if you can find the same um, algorithm I've used because after I read after I wrote it I actually went online and I actually typed to see if somebody else used it. People use different algorithm, but I haven't seen anyone use why what I've used here. So it's I'm not saying it's the most perfect. It's probably faulty, but it works. It's probably not the most efficient on the processor, but it actually does the job. And something is confusing me. It works fine, but I still don't understand. There is the, f the fact that I can declare factory to be 1 here, um, because normally I would have thought I should declare it outside the for loop, but I declare it as Anyway, when I step into the, um, uh, I'll still show you how to use this. Uh, how to step into your program and actually see what your program is doing line by line so that you can pick out errors and you can actually understand uh, understand the program logic better I'm gonna do that and once I figure out exactly what this um, my code is doing then I'm going to explain it to you I mean it's not like I got it by by luck of course I wrote it but the fact that um, when I declare this outside the for loop I didn't get the result but when I put it inside the for loop it works so that is kind of still bugging me so I need to figure that out before I explain it to you so this is how you write uh, the factorial of a number you should try it out for yourself and see if you can uh, do it in a different way because trust me I've seen about three or four five different methods that people have used to write the same thing so maybe you can come up with something that is unique and special give it a try and see uh, if you can do it and I'll see you in the next video thank you